I'm gonna break this video down into four sections. First, I'll start with the easy one and I'll tell you what you should definitely not do if you wanna be a great data analyst or any analyst per se. Then I will give you three key tips with actionable examples that you can start implementing today to speed up your career growth, to become a data analyst, or again, any sort of analyst who can truly make a difference. And just quickly, for those of you who are new here, my name is Mo Chen and I currently work as a data and analytics manager and I have over six years of experience with complex big data in the financial services industry. So I did promise you that I'll start with what you should not do. So here it goes. Do not focus solely on technical skills. I see so many beginners make this mistake where they only learn technical skills in a pretty aimless way. And by aimless, I mean without knowing the whys and the hows, just literally memorizing the exact formula, function, or code, and nothing more. Please don't do this. Obviously, technical skills are super important, as without having them, how would you even perform your analyst tasks? How could you even be an analyst, right? I think of technical skills as tools that can help me solve very specific data problems. I don't need to know all of the formulas and functions in Excel, for example, I just need to know the ones that will actually solve my problem. Learn your technical skills, learn them well, but please, don't just aimlessly sit there trying to master every single technique, function, and formula in every single tool. What's even worse than blindly learning technical skills is endlessly watching videos and tutorials without actually trying to do data analysis yourself. Learning by doing is one of the best, if not the best way to learn, so please don't just sit there and watch others perform data analysis tasks. Try and perform the tasks yourself. Try, fail, try again, repeat, then succeed. That's a pretty good formula for success. Another great formula for success would be to learn applicable skills through Simply Learn's data science and business analytics courses, like the data analyst course, for example. Data science and analytics jobs are projected to grow by 31% this decade. And by taking this course developed in collaboration with IBM, you can become a data analyst, a job where the average salary can easily surpass the $100,000 mark. Simply Learn has great reviews that you can easily check out on SwitchUp, Course Report, or Trustpilot. Business Analytics with Excel, SQL Course, Data Analytics with Python and R, Tableau Desktop Specialist, and PL. 300 Microsoft Power BI certification training, these are all covered for you. So, if you want to gain in demand data skills, check out Simply Learn's data science and business analytics courses like the data analyst course I just mentioned using the link in the description below. And a huge thanks to Simply Learn for partnering on this video. Now that I covered what you shouldn't do, here's the first thing that you can start working on right now to be an elite analyst. Learn to tell compelling stories. Data on its own is just numbers. The best analysts know exactly how to transform these numbers into stories that drive important decisions. Here's three things I found that worked throughout my career for telling compelling data stories. One, know the context behind your data. Two, make sure you hook your audience by targeting a specific pain point or process or metric they truly care about. And three, deliver recommendations and solutions, not just reports. And here's a quick win for you. Before attending your next meeting or finalizing your next project, summarize the story in three sentences. Focus on the problem, insight, and the recommendation. I go into very granular details in my newsletter, not just about how to tell compelling data stories, but about all sorts of skills you need to succeed in the workplace as a data professional. It's completely free and you can quickly and easily sign up at mochen.info. The second thing you can start working on right now is taking the initiative, which to be honest is just a fancy way in my opinion of saying just use your brain and think a little. Let me show you what I mean. Say your manager comes to you and asks you to create a report on monthly customer churn. See this as an opportunity to take the initiative, not just an opportunity to do exactly as you're told. Don't just say yes and run the numbers. 
Ask your manager questions like, what's the key business decision we're trying to make? Or are we trying to reduce churn, identify patterns, or forecast future losses? Have a little discussion around it. And even better, after the discussion, go ahead and do the analysis. Be curious, go above and beyond and shift your mindset from, I will produce simple reports to a mindset of, I will produce critical strategic insights. The third thing from my experience that makes analysts truly great is the ability to work across various technical and non-technical teams. And I'll simply call this skill connecting the dots. If you can do this, you'll be a wanted person no matter which organization we're talking about. If you can work with business SMEs and find their exact pain points when collating, inputting, or using data in various systems, tools, and platforms, then you'll make a difference for sure. Or if you can find out about the kind of metrics, dashboards, or any sort of reporting that would help your SMEs make better, faster, more informed decisions, and use your data domain knowledge, your technical skills, and your understanding of which other data teams you'd need to collaborate with to build the ideal technical solutions, then you'll also definitely make a difference as you connect the dots for everyone. Trust me, being able to bridge the gap between technical and non-technical stakeholders and speak both the technical and non-technical language is a skill in itself. Here's what you could do to get better at it. Think of a technical concept. Now try and explain this technical concept in the simplest possible way so that even a six-year-old would understand. And then try and explain this concept in such a granular way that would suffice the most technical data professionals as well. And I'm afraid I'm out of top tips for today as this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to have a little scroll on my website at nochan.info and also don't forget to check out these videos right here. Thank you so much for taking just a little time out of your day to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.